Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Cubase tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to export tracks within Cubase. So this is our project that we're working with. So as you can see, I've got four different uh, channels. I've got three audio channels as well as one MIDI track, as you can see here. So if you want to export tracks, what you'll do is very simple. You'll click File. You'll then go to Export. You'll click Audio Mixdown, and this is the Audio Mixdown menu. On the top left, we'll start here. As you can see, you have two options. You've got Single and you've got Multiple. So if you want to export a single track, uh, automatically the first option that you're going to get is going to be Stereo Out, which is the entire project. Or if you want to click Individual Tracks, for argument's sake, our MIDI, or any of our other audio tracks, you'll just click here, and you'll leave it as is. If you want to export multiple tracks, you'll click the multiple option, and then you'll click however many tracks you want to export. So let's say for argument's sake, in this specific option, I'm going to show you how to export three tracks at the same time. What you'll do is then your first option that you get here will be your naming scheme for each of the tracks. So let's say for argument's sake, we're going to make it track hash two or three. And then on the right side, you'll see a cogwheel. This is your naming scheme. So you'll click that. And then these are your naming schemes that you can add. Uh, automatically, the first option you're going to get will just be name. But if you want to change the naming scheme, I'll get, uh, for argument's sake, make a channel number, you'll just double click to add that or channel type, you can double click or channel name. And then as you can see at the bottom here, this is how the naming scheme will be for each of the tracks. So if I'm going to take, if I take away a uh, channel number, you'll see it goes away, and then this will be the new naming scheme. So let's say we are happy with this. We're going to click OK. This is the path where you want it to be exported. Then underneath is a preview, uh, similarly in the naming scheme option box. Then under file format, here are all your different presets. You can save the preset if you want. File type, you can get WAV, MP3, AAAF, and much, much more. Uh, your sample rate is here, your bit depth, export as. Your first option is usually interleaved, which is means stereo. If you want to make it mono, you'll click here and then you get mono down mix. And then underneath is your effects. So this is if you have inserted any effects or sends into each of the tracks, it will mix it down together or you can disable them if you want, as well as uh, this includes groups and master group channels as well. And then after export is another option that you have. You can just do nothing and just export the audio tracks as are. Or you can uh, create audio track or new project. For this specific example, let's say we're going to create a audio track. We're going to keep them as stereo. And then once you are happy here, you will click export audio. Then this dialog box will come up to copy to your project folder, as well as project settings, you'll click OK. And there we go. These are the three tracks that we have mixed down. Now, if one year, for argument's sake, our next option that we're going to use is how to export a MIDI track. And I'll show you that specific MIDI track now, so you can get a good idea of what we are working with. So let's say we want to export this as MIDI, but not only in MIDI, we want to export it as a mono. So again, we'll go to File, Export, Audio Mixdown. We'll go to Single in this case, because we only want the one, and you'll see Instrument Tracks. These are your audio tracks that we had before. We don't want that. We want our instrument track, which is that. We'll then click here, make it Mono Down Mix. And this one we'll make, let's say, MIDI. And we want to create an audio track, and then we'll click Export. Click OK when this dialog box opens. And there we go. Here is our MIDI that is in mono. And that's as easy as it can get with regards to exporting in Cubase. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you.